The third condition, as I see it, for trusting Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to stand by you and to provide you this goodness is that do not expect that you will get the answer that you're looking for every time. There may be things which you see as evil, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sees as good. There may be times where you had asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the house you really wanted, and He prevented you from closing on the sale for a purpose that He knows, for a harm that may afflict you later on. There may be times where you build that relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and sometimes this happens with people who had recently turned to Allah, recently converted, and then some, uh, some uh, tough trial, some disaster that happens to them. It is a test by Allah, subha by, by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to test their faith, to test their sincerity. It is for them to grow, to see what they didn't see before. At times you might fall into mistakes and sins. You might be exposed to people. It could be very, very shameful as you go through the community having to bear the sin. But you never know, maybe this is the only way for you to change. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows us better than what, how we know ourselves. He knows us better than we know ourselves and He knows on the long run what is good for us. You may hate something that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would make good from. So the three stipulations for the trust building the trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The first one is to build the relationship with Allah. The second one is to take the worldly means, to do our part, to sweat. And the third one is to expect that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will do good even if it doesn't appear as such. أقول قولي هذا واستغفر الله لي ولكم